Welcome back everyone, Baxter here at Casino Guitars. Today we're talking about the Fender Custom Shop and in particular, master built guitars. And in particular there, getting one built by Mr. Vincent Van Trite. We wanted to be able to walk people through from the very beginning when you first call a dealer to the very end and when this guitar shows up at your door and you get to play it yourself. So we wanna take you from the minute of inception in your mind as much as we can to the minute this guitar gets packaged up from Fender out the door to your dealer, from your dealer to you, and there you go. We're gonna have fun doing this. Um, thanks for joining us for the journey. Let's get started. Okay, so you wanna build a Fender custom shop and you've decided on a master builder. We've chosen Mr. Vincent Man right here because this is the guitar we have in our hands and he is one of our favorite builders at the custom shop right now. We think his neck work is phenomenal and his choice of woods and relicking is pretty much second to none. Love him, but that's the side point. Let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up with this idea of this guitar you want. And you're gonna probably sketch it out, probably go to the Fender Custom Shop website, look at all their design guides and whatnot. But when you're ready, you're gonna have to call a dealer or email a dealer, and that's what I recommend. Just shoot them a quick email. Um, we actually have a form system set up where you can like fill it out on our website with your basic ideas. It gives us a chance to sort of prep it before we give you the initial phone call. Then what happens next is you're gonna get a phone call from us, or you're gonna call us at a set time, and we're gonna have like a nice little meeting on the on the telephone, um, talking about things that you can't really fill out in a form. Like I want to get an idea of what kind of guitar player you are what you expect the guitar to do, what you want to get out of the guitar, um, not just the basic things as far as what pickups you want and how much money you want to spend. That stuff gets covered a little bit in the sort of build specs, but I want to get an idea of how you're going to play the guitar. Once we have an idea of what you're looking for, we sort of talk about which master builder might best be suited for you. They're all great at pretty much everything, but certain ones focus on certain areas. And it also depends on how long you're willing to wait. So if you're looking for a piece from a lot of the master builders, you're still looking at 12 to 14 months. Some are about two and a half years now. Some can be even three and a half years. And it's going up because they're not getting any faster at building the guitars and they're getting more popular. So if you have an idea of who you like, we sort of go down that road and we start the conversations there as well. So once we've had a few conversations, we're gonna have the basic idea of what you're looking for. Let's say it's a Stratocaster, like this one right here. Um, this is based off of a 1963 Stratocaster, and you are very particular about the colors. So we figure out the colors, and we haven't figured them out yet. We start working on colors a little bit, working on the pickup designs, working on if you want a Brazilian board, non-Brazilian board, maple. This is a Brazilian board right here, hand-selected. We'll get into that later, it's unbelievable. And then we sort of get the basic build sheets ready and we send that into the custom shop and they're gonna send us something back called the Floor Traveler, which you've seen before if you've read like or seen a custom shop before, that's what they've been shipping for the past few years. But I like to call it the matrix. So this is the matrix of your guitar. It's a bunch of text and script that's gonna pretty much be the build diagram for your guitar architect through this journey. So at this point, once you've gotten the floor traveler back and we've all looked over it, everyone at the shop here will look over it, the person who's assigned is sort of your piece here at our shop. We also have a person at the custom shop that is sort of in charge of that, who's our representative. And then you, as the end user of this instrument, has to sort of go everything with a fine tooth comb and we go over it in every detail and see if there's anything we don't like or don't want. At that point, your price is established and your estimated time of build. And we give it a confirm once you're ready to go. And that's the exciting part. So, but it's not done at all. This is just the start when you're doing a master build guitar. You think it's through, and sometimes it is with a, if you're doing a typical um, sort of normal build with a team built, again, it's just a basic 54 Strat type style NOS. Once you've agreed to that point, you're sort of set in stone, guitar's going. With a master build guitar, you've sort of agreed upon the price of what you're building, your scope, and then you say, let's do this thing. It goes into the queue, and, um, then we get started. The fun really starts here. So now that you've put this in and you're waiting a bit and a bit and a bit, it kind of, once this guitar gets right in front of your builder, as far as like his next build slots are available, 
and we're gonna use Vincent. He gets the guitar. He's gonna finally talk to me again or talk to one of us at Casino Guitars or your dealer. And then he's going to, after we've sort of gone over everything on the build sheet, he's gonna give you a phone call or an Instagram message or an email, whatever you prefer. But it's so much fun to talk to him on the phone because he's a super cool guy and he really wants to get the feel for what you're gonna do as well. He's very similar to my idiosyncratic nature of wanting to understand how you're gonna use the guitar because he's a musician and a phenomenal bass player. So it's just neat to talk to him about how he shapes his instruments. But he's gonna talk to you for a bit and that's where the build's gonna start. And you're not done talking with him at this point by any stretch. So that's where we're gonna sort of dive into how this guitar in particular started coming together. So with Vincent and with the person who is getting this guitar, it is already sold, I apologize for that, but we loved every second of doing this. Um, they first picked out what they wanted this guitar to do. Now the person who is getting this guitar is a huge fan of John Mayer and wanted something that would sort of live in that universe tonally and sort of spiritually and also ergonomically. But the colors are all completely custom as far as the combination of what they chose to do. So when we, our first core was, you know, we wanted a 63 Strat, we wanted, you know, vintage tuners, obviously. We wanted a, we ended up, we started with some crazy neck designs from like a 1056 to a slight V to, but we ended up with a basic sort of large C carve here. And it fits wonderfully, but we said large C, but then pull a little bit off of it. And then that happens. We wanted a Brazilian board as well. And that was really one of my favorite parts because when we're picking out the board, um, Vincent, you know, he selects every piece by hand. He, he picked a very plain grain neck on this piece. And then we wanted something spectacular for the, the Brazilian blank here, the Brazilian board here. And so he found a spectacular piece. It's dark stained right now, but in the pictures you can see it hopefully very well. And that was sort of the blueprint of our neck design. Once we got back into the body, the colors were a very particular thing we wanted to dig into. So we have the red was part of the, the name of this person's um, family member. So we got into this and we wanted this sort of scarlet red type of undercoat with our alder body. And we found Seminole red, which is a really not very common red used with the Fender Custom Shop at all. And then we found a sage green metallic on top. And as you look through the pictures that we're sort of doing now, you can sort of see the original body raw. And then as we proceed, you'll see sort of the paintwork beginning you can see like the red undercoat, which we loved. You saw the, um, the green that went on top of it. And we also, you saw the initials. As you can see in the guitar I'm holding right now and with the pieces on that are flashing across the screen, you'll see the initials of family members that were sort of carved into this with um, some stencil work and then pulled off. And then as they were pulled off and the relicking process continued, these were even relicked further just to fit the sort of overall design. So as Vincent relicked this piece, he um, continually sort of, I don't know exactly what his magic combination and formula is, but these pieces of wood kept becoming more magical and amazing to us, the darkening of it. And it was, it was done exactly to how our, our customer wanted the guitar. He was involved in this and was sent pictures of this and talked on the phone. And I think they even talked to you know, the kids at some point talked on the phone. It was, it's just one of those magical experiences of working with a builder of this caliber um, who really cares about getting the job done. So that was our basic body. And you'll notice we have an open back plate, obviously, because why wouldn't you do that when it looks this cool inside of it? Now for pickups, we spent a lot of time too, sort of going back and forth. We had, you know, hand wound 64 Yosefina compost. We were set on Yosefina. And the only way to get Yosefinas now is through a master build or through one of the rare editions of pickups you sell separately through your showcase dealers. But we, we ended up sticking with, um, the Yosefina Handwound 59s, which even though we're going for a 60s guitar, like there's something about the 59s just with their magnet combination captures that classic, that classic warmth, a little bit of bite, but not too much treble shrill. So it's got the, I love 50s sounding guitars, but this one has that sort of, it is, it's right it's straddling the both worlds. Um, it's not too glassy and that middle pickup is outstanding and I, Harken and beg all of you out there that play strats, play your middle pickup more. It's really, really good and really useful. Nobody uses it. It just baffles me. It's really, it's one of the best pickups out there, um, especially with these pickups. So that was a big decision, obviously. And then when we got the pick guard, he knew, our, our customer knew it from the beginning, he wanted this style of tortoise pick guard. And this was, this took a while to do it, like just to get it to this aging point we wanted it. 
all the knobs, all the plastics, obviously relics to the, to the hilt. The neck carve, I know Vincent went back a few times and got this thing just right. I love how he pulled it off the coloring, the painting here. And it's just, it's a spectacular piece. So that's a little fun thing. A lot of people don't notice the USA only part. Um, that is just to denote that this should not be shipped overseas because of CITES and all the strange rules with Brazilian rosewood traveling. So after, golly gee, this one came pretty quick. We, you know, we, we put the order in uh, at the beginning of 2020 really. And we got this thing within a year, but this was just due to an awesome relationship that they developed, that we've developed with the custom shop. Uh, and by they, I mean the owner of this guitar, and the builder of this guitar. It's something that I don't think stops necessarily um, when the completion of the guitar is done. They will be community, I've seen them communicate on Instagram ever since, and I think they still communicate on the telephone. God rest the poor souls that have to talk to the strange guitar builders. They're, they're a strange lot. But that sort of um, gets us through the build of it, and then this guitar, when it's finally done, and we're happy with it, we get the we get the word from Vincent, we get the word from our friend who's getting this guitar, he gets the word, and um, then they, they ship it out. And it gets here, it gets to our shop from California to North Carolina in about a day. They next day air these things right now, uh, something of this, this caliber to us. And we sort of go through our inspection, but we never really had a problem with the master build. It's set up perfectly. Vincent does the setup himself. It goes to a final inspection, post setup after him as well. and. And we get to see this piece in its full glory. And you do. And our customer gets to have this thing shortly. He'll have it by the time you see this video, hopefully. Um, or maybe not, I might keep it for a few more days. So that's pretty much the journey of this guitar. It starts off as an idea in your head, and then it continues with the conversation with your dealer. And if you have the right dealer, and there are a lot of great dealers out there, talk to any of your showcase dealers. Love it if you called us let them help you with it and, and enjoy the journey. It's so much fun. It can be an adventure that really is one of those like life-changing guitar moments. And I enjoy it every time we do it. And each time it becomes a special relationship that we form with our customer. And it further solidifies our bonds with these builders in particular, not just Fender, but the people that make the guitars. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this journey. I've enjoyed doing it more than I can say. I'm thrilled for the, um, the person to get their hands on this awesome guitar, but I'm going to play it a few more um, hours before it goes off because I have had a wonderful time with this. Thank you, my friend who ordered this guitar and let me help with it, and also thank you, Vincent, for building this instrument. I think it's one of the finest pieces we've had come through our shop, and we're thrilled. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Click subscribe or bells or things, and Cassini Guitars, sign out. Thank <laughs> you.